They have lives. They're sentient and life is different. They, they, can, they, they cry as well. Trees can cry? They, they can cry. Do you mean they like um, see? They have the emotions. Cutting off the head of a dog and cutting off a tree is the same to you? Not so. Why? Because the central nervous system, the one you mentioned. They can't feel pain? They can't. Oh, whatever I saw, that's quite uh, brutal and uh, yeah, it's there are certain things which I know there are lots of people who are vegan and at the same time there are lots of people who are non-veg. Yep. But uh, yeah, respecting their views and perspective, the way the animals are killed or persecuted, I mean, should have a certain level of empathy. Uh, and uh, if we can't uh, adopt, uh, not, I mean, vegetarian lifestyle, still we can adopt a semi-vegetarian at least. Uh, there are some people who are non-veg, respecting their views on saying that. So whatever happened, the way it happened, it's not very nice, I would say. Okay, yeah. so there's a couple things there. So firstly, vegetarians still pay for what you saw on the screen. So they still yeah. abuse animals with uh, dairy and eggs yeah. and other things as well, like leather, leather wool. Yes. Um, when you say you don't like the way they do that, yeah. what would be a good way to kill someone who doesn't want to die? Uh, definitely, killing is definitely not a, not a way out. Yeah. Uh, then uh, we have to see both logics. There are logics from the non-vegetarians and non-vegan side. Like the plants, they also, they also have life. But when they don't feel pain, right? They, they feel pain according to scientific journals. I'm, I'm personally, I'm a scientist. So, so they feel pain. do you think that a plant and a dog are the same? Mm. They have lives. They have lives. They're sentient and life is different. So a tree is alive, tree but is alive. not sentient, don't feel pain. They, they trees feel pain, they even cry. They can't they can't feel pain because they don't have a brain or a central nervous system. So they physically uh, can't feel pain, but they are alive. They are alive, they can cry. They even they, they can they, they cry as well. Trees can cry? They, they can cry. I can show you scientific papers on that. Do you mean they like um seep like not weeping or, yeah, but they 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 have the emotions. There are scientific papers I can show that. Recent journal papers. But they can't feel pain. They feel that. That's why they feel. So pain. cutting off the head of a dog and cutting off a tree is the same to you? Not same. Not okay. Same. Why? Because the central nervous system, the one you mentioned. They can't feel pain. They can't. Um, they feel pain. It's a different, different pain. They have. They feel. They have emotions. Okay. Now, when we breathe, we kill lots of lives. Why? We kill lots of germs as well. When we breathe? When we breathe. We kill lots of germs. But we have to breathe, right? We can just we have to breathe breathing to kill. Yeah, definitely. But the way it is happening, I mean, mass slaughtering of animals, that should be stopped. Okay. What about if there's one animal mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. would you say it's okay to cut the head off that one animal because you want a burger? Uh, one animal, well, again, as a vegan, if somebody is a vegan, I know their perspective. There are some people who are non-vegetarian. I respect their way of life. Do you also respect people who want to eat people? Do you respect cannibals? Uh, cannibals definitely don't respect cannibals. Okay, why don't you respect cannibals? Because they're eating people it's, like... Yeah, they're in human life. So we humans, a large portion of the human lives, I mean humans, they consider themselves superior to the animals, yeah, it's which easy is a bit to of think, condescending in my opinion. Yeah, it's easy to think you're superior when you're that, when you're exactly. that species. It's easy exactly. to go, oh, they're an animal so I can eat them exactly. do what I want. But what about you? Do you yeah. think you're superior? No, well, nobody yeah. should be considered superior. Okay. I, that's Okay, how so it should why go. is it different then for people if they want to eat people? Why is that different? Why don't you respect them but you respect people who want to eat animals? Well, respect in a sense that if they are doing their, if they are, if they want to eat something, let them do. We can't stop them. I mean, there are millions and billions of people who are, who are who has gone non-vegan, right? So, but that's uh, the same with humans. Well, you can't stop people eating humans. So, do we just respect them? There are laws. So laws, laws. are laws okay. are built in that way. So, do you think so, just because something is legal makes it okay? Well, just because it's illegal we, to eat. Yeah, we live in a world we have to frame everything from a legal point of view. I mean, if I mean, yes, at a certain point in this country or anywhere else, if uh, slaughtering cows or goats is illegal, then definitely we have to respect that. So we have to play yeah, by the rules. Otherwise, we'll go we'll go to prison, right? But exactly. So legality it's, catches up with morality later. So that like we had slaves exactly. for years, and that was so, legal. So, so at the time we had the, slaves, mm -hmm. you would have been okay with that. That's a moral question. 
that's, that's a yes. moral question. Same with animals. Animals yeah. are being gassed right now. Yeah. And that's a moral question. It's not illegal yet. It's not, it's not legal yet. But it will be. Illegal yet. But we're in a so, time where at the moment it is legal, now, just like slavery was now, legal. Legal standards are constant. Moral standards are subjective. But we are waiting for the time. We have to wait for the time when animal slaughtering will become illegal. And then that's the only way to stop this. So would you, when they were slaves, would you be okay having a slave because you said, oh, we'll wait till it's illegal, then I won't have a slave anymore? Or would you see the injustice to the individual and injustice stop? Injustice to the individual, I have to So why at. don't you see the injustice to the animals right now? Yeah, I have to see the anim injustice to the animals. Yeah. There, is, there, there is injustice so going on. What would stop you then, taking your own accountability and stop paying for those individuals going through this injustice right now? Uh, first thing I can do, I won't pay for that. You won't pay for it? Yeah, that's one way. That's, yeah. But that's a very small scale. Myself is a small scale. There yeah. are millions doing it. Yes. But probably the one way is to, the government can implement laws. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're right there. You can stop your own accountability. So you said you can stop paying for it now. Yeah. That w which so everyone can it, do. But overnight it's difficult. The thing is we have to first go from non wage to semi wage. Or no, um, then I disagree. Completely. Would you say we go from racist to semi non racist and well, then non racist, or would you say it's an injustice it, now that you've seen and you yeah. stop and you but against it straight it's away? It's difficult to stop all of a sudden anything. Do you think it's difficult for you or difficult for the animal in the slaughterhouse? It's difficult for the society. Because if you want the, the society, society, I mean, if, if I want to implement, an implement a law. Uh, yeah, yeah that, so that will come when that, people stop that paying has to, for this. That, yeah, that has to go slowly. That overnight. will catch up. Yeah. It will catch up with morals. Yeah, but right from a personal point of view, I mean, in my case, I can stop it right, right now. You That's, can stop now. Yeah. So what would stop you stopping right now? Cruelty. Pardon? Brutality, cruelty. I mean, whatever I saw there is. So that, that's enough to make you stop right now yeah. yourself. Yeah. Awesome. So you'll live vegan from now on? Uh, I'll try my best. I mean, there are certain foods that they contain some oils or something which are non veg. Yeah, so yeah. It, it's a bit of a learning curve, you're right. Yeah. But if so, you are unknowingly paying for something, yeah. then that's wrong, right? So, like, when I first went vegan, I, I was like, right, no animal products, no eggs, dairy. I didn't know my toothpaste was a exactly. vegan. So for a while, I was using my toothpaste, but that it's was unknowingly. Uh, unknowingly. It's extremely difficult considering the world scenario. Number two is our body, human body. We need lots of protein. Protein. Vegetarians yeah. got vegetables got protein. I agree. Vegan, vegan, vegan. Remember, not vegetarian. Vegan protein. Vegan protein, yeah. Well, my Sorry. husband's bodybuilder is vegan. You are a bodybuilder. Do you think he lacks protein? He, he takes supplements. <laughs> no. I'm not sure if he's on steroids or not. No, he's not. No, I never, right? No. Okay. So and it's possible. Because plant, plants, plants make protein. Plants make protein. Animals but get their protein. The thing is, plants body. doesn't have that amount of BCA, brown chain amino acids. They all contain all essential amino acids in varying yeah. degrees. So you now, have tofu, which is higher, or you can then, have broccoli, which is lower. Now, the problem is here. I have to buy tofu. I have to, for another BCA, I have to buy another thing. The cost will go higher. No. Actually, scientifically proven, it's 30% cheaper. Oh, not a recent Oxford study. Okay. Because the cheapest foods in the supermarket, rice, beans, potatoes, legumes. Cheaper, com yeah, cheaper compared to meat, definitely. Yeah. So yeah. you, you so. can just live within your means. It's yeah. easy for you just yep. to be like, oh, I can't afford the vegan pizza today, exactly. but I'll go for this today and I can have that next week. Like we do now. The okay. most expensive things in the supermarket is like steak. Steak. Animal products. Yeah, animal products, yeah. But that's easy for us to be like, okay, yeah. we can just live within, like, we've got 50 pounds to spend, we yeah. know where to spend that. Exactly. But as long as we're so not... That's one way, definitely. Yeah. But, yeah, like you say, you talk about toothpaste. Sorry? Yes. Toothpaste Tooth or yeah. any other other product. Unknowingly, yes. we, do, we do things. Yes. It's hard to stop those things, I mean, unknowing things. Of okay, course, well, until yeah. we know. Until we know. But what I would say to you is that I wish someone said to me, when I went vegan, I saw it at home. I saw that footage in my home, and we threw all of animal products in the bin, exactly. thinking food. But what I didn't realise was testing on animals, um, leather, wool, my shoes. Exactly. And then over time, I started to learn. So the next time you buy anything, just make sure it's vegan, and then you're good. Exactly. I mean, yeah. And even wearing animal products like leather and those things, those should be, those can be stopped so, easily. I mean, overnight. Yeah, yeah. And no one's going to protest. Yeah. And it's so yeah. easy for us to be like, okay, yeah. uh, what toothpaste is vegan? Oh, that one. So it's easy for us. But if you keep your focus on focus. the victim, yeah. then it's super easy. Yeah.
See, we, we humans, we have a condescending nature. Yeah. I talk about slavery, colonization, yeah. and every other thing. We, one thing that we are, we are superior than others, another thing, no, we are superior than that. That per, per same mentality, same perspective we should have towards other creatures. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And I think yeah. having that superiority complex has created wars. It's created yeah. um, like the Nazis to think Jews are worth less than them. It's created. Yeah. Uh, I mean, vice versa. In both sides, it happens. Yeah, yeah. 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 So today they are find... doing the same thing. Yeah. yeah. So do you think we should find that compassion in our hearts that is naturally We should have there? empathy and compassion, yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's very important. And that's what a vegan lifestyle is. Yes. We can yeah. live with vegetables, vegan stuffs. Yeah. We can, we, we can, we can live our life like that. Yeah, yeah. But human nature works in a very strange way. Yeah. And we can be the kind ones. We can, we can change it for the better, can't we? Yeah. When you talk about karma, karma was good, but his next generations like Lenin they are not very good but we can be a good human being we can yeah, all together we can be, make a better world absolutely yeah. absolutely I really like okay. talking to you Thank what you was your name you. my name is Nisar Karim oh, sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's all right. I'm Melissa. So nice to speak to you. Thank you. And make sure you pick up one of the prizes as well. Got to give you a prize. See you later. Hello.